What's up guys, my in here with another track review video. If you haven't subscribed, hit the bell, hit subscribe for my latest videos in your feed. Boom! Guys, this is not a tutorial. This is a breakdown review of my workflow on this track, my second track for 2019. As you guys know, I have a goal to hit 50 and this is just a breakdown review of my latest track, the one that I did this past week. So without any further ado, let's hit the studio and let's see what I did to make this track happen. All right, let's do this. So first things first, your kick, right? This this track actually started with a big chunky kick at the beginning. And then right here, uh, where it says bring down the low kick. That's more of a, uh, a sweep that happened with with uh, this EQ, cutting down from the bottom end all the way up, up, and then, you know, like the chunky one uh, comes in again. So, so that's, uh, yeah, that, that's like some modulation and stuff that happened with my kick. Now, let's go see, you know, like the big, like, bass lines and everything started happening later on, you know, at the... Uh, after 33, almost into, it was like uh, 41, so we can hear that a little bit. So it's, that's just like a, an introduction, right, of, the, of that bass line that I was bringing in. So you know, like different bass lines coming from like the same sub-37 bass call um, made the sound that I that I brought in. So this one's gonna have a big Valhalla delay on it. That's going to continue to grow with the track. And also this other one that I chopped up from the, like the original, like stabs, uh, not stabs, but like the original plane of the, of the sub 37. So I'm able to like have those like, uh, delays as it's coming in all right so let's listen to that you hear that tail and that takes me to that this little break over here and then once it comes in again you know and that's this is why i separated them uh it's gonna be a dry signal that's gonna be coming in so let's listen to that real quick does have you know the galaxy right playing so one thing to notice there in my uh on this chain right here is that i have different elements so this bass line was mangled a lot from like the original that i had so right now, I'm going to show you guys the original, how it sounds, uh, without all this, like, elements and all this other stuff that I had on this one. And so you guys can see, you know, like, all the stuff that went on with it. So you can have a listen to the original bass line. So as you can see, it's pretty dry, right? So then I added, you know, like, the Galaxy, the Manly... Passive EQ, compressors, then, you know, the Pro EQ, the Omega, um, like the, the Omega's really cool, so you guys should get that one, but, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a, kind of like a, a new preamp, like I, I mentioned in one of my videos, you're gonna find the link below to that, my, my favorite BSTs to use, and now let's listen to how it sounds, and I'm gonna add the kick to this, because I think it sounds really cool. See how open it is? And the chunkiness is not gone. It's like a little bit more spread out, right? Alright, so then I, I cropped and I did a lot of things to, to the baseline, the original one, and, and that's this is what we get, you know. Not here yet. I cut some elements so it doesn't sound the same. This one 
for this part right here, I was opening the, the filter and uh, so to get those like, you know, like growling, like bass line sound. So, so yeah, um, so one of the main parts of the track I, that I think they're really cool elements. Then I'm going to go with high drums, the ones in yellow for me. So as you can see, you know, I had like different elements going on and uh, they serve a purpose in, in different parts of the track. And as you can see, a lot of automation on like, what's happening with my mid drums. Uh, so let's have a listen to how like the entire group was being built for this track. Uh, we're gonna start from uh, let's start from here from the first break, and uh, just like the little introduction for it. drums I went to different synth elements because I I knew that this track I, I wanted to like base it into into more melodies and and so let's go in and let's explore all this all the elements that I have here and see how they sounded like this is this arpeggio coming from the analog four so those are some like if, like synth effects that I added uh, so like it, it helps with the ambience of the of the track So I recorded two different ones, and then I'm using those throughout the track. Different recordings. We're using the Rolly on this one. See, the cool thing about the Rolly, and I'm gonna jump in here uh, just a little bit, just to see how much, um, like, Velocity changes and movement happen with the Rolly. Uh, so let me show you here. So you have no velocity and then the pressure. And the pressure, the cool thing about it is that. So let me go back to this thing. So all this that's happening here with the pressure when I'm pressing the key, it affects the sound of the synths, right? And you can use this with the, the Rolly um, equator that they give you. You can also use this expression uh, of, of pressure and everything with your own like uh, external synths and with some BSTs. I know that all the BSTs from, um, from Logic allow you to do that. So, so it's uh, so all, like the BS, like the not BSTs, but like all the instruments that come with Logic, they allow you to actually use the expression and all the different uh, pressure points of the of the seaboard. So, be cool, and, cool thing to get into for sure. Then I have this other lead happening here. sounds sounded for this track
let's jump into the percussions. The percussions for this track are really important because they are going to be helping with the groove of the track. And I'll show you what I mean about with that. You know, as you can see here, I was just playing, and this is kind of like the introduction to that uh, really cool bass line that I came up with with the Sub 37. But the percussions are going to help us to build into that groove because they're they're going to act as the, uh, like a sub bass here uh, to make uh, people kind of dance to it. So let's go. dancing with the with the kick you know and, and it's gonna be dancing with the bass over here and I take it out you know when I need the like the main bass to to shine you know I, I take them out and bring them back in then I, I get them to like all play nice together sounds that I, I, you know, it, it seemed to me that it was missing something uh, extra, like in the melodic part, uh, so I decided to come up with this, and uh, for this, I also used the equator, because I recently got the rolly, <laughs> and I like to explore, uh, you know, the, the synths that come with, with gear that I buy, so this is pretty much how the equator looks. And it is really complex to the eye, but once you get into it, it's really, really cool and it makes some really, really cool sounds. So let's go and have a listen to the melodic elements that I added with this synth. I love that. So for this one, I actually added an arpeggiator at, at the beginning of the chain, and it made it so it sounded like that da -da 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 at the beginning. So it was kind of nice. And this. Now, let's go and see this one. Okay, sorry. So now, let's go and see how it sounds with everything else, except for the effects, right? So let's do this. Let's do it. this bass line so let's, let's have a listen to it, them together
Um, so for that, for this element, I used, um, so in the chain, we have the dub station, and then after that, I have the H delay. So it makes it really spacious. And it, 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 it gives it the idea as if it's like a tail of the, of the bass line. So it's, uh, it makes the bass line sound different than the first introduction that we did over here. And it plays out, you know, let's listen to the break right here. effects I didn't have as many uh, so I have this riser thing that I added let's listen to that so it's it's a blend of elements it's a, a blend of white noise and a vocal effect and uh, then that's the sound that it came up with so for that one I use this vocal synth uh, by uh, Isotope I think I believe they're the, the ones that make this uh, it's, it's really cool you can mangle sounds <laughs> make them sound completely different so if you're able to get your hands on this I think it's $200 uh, you can buy it um, like with multiple payments and with splice so so yeah check it out and this other one this is a different one this is like we're adding like claps here for the build-ups to give more tension, right? So, for the final build-up, big, big thing happening with the claps. the elements of the track. Uh, let's go and have a listen to some of the parts of the track. This build up, so let's see, it's important for me to start it correctly. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's have a listen to the track from here on out and um, so you guys can see all the elements and how they interact I think this buildup is really cool so I, I do want you guys to have a listen to it so yeah uh, so before we get into that uh, you guys should let me know what you think and uh, let me know how you're making your tracks if you want me to like go check one of your tracks out please just uh, put a put a comment and I will go and check your track out and tell you what I think all right guys Let's do this. <music> 